Goodbye iPod Classic. Hello Smart Rings. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. While Apple introduced two new iPhones and a watch, it also decided it was time to say goodbye to the original iPod music player. Apple's no longer selling the iPod Classic. It was the last music player with a screen that wasn't a touch screen. This sixth generation model with its click wheel debuted in 2007. But it was 13 years ago that Steve Jobs introduced the first iPod. And the iPod kick-started a digital music revolution. But when the Apple Watch goes on sale next year, it could also change our daily habits. People will use their wrist as a way to answer messages or as a remote control for music and TV, or even wave their arm around like some magic wand to activate different wireless sensors that can open doors and pay for train tickets. But while some folks still wrestle with the idea of doing so much computing on a wrist and whether it's worth the price, there are companies already looking to your finger as the next step. The Moda Smart Ring would give a buzz and display notifications when someone's calling or texting you. The company did make a smartwatch, but it's still working to raise money for the ring on Indiegogo. It's not the first smart ring. There's also Ringly. It has an actual gemstone and it lights up and buzzes when you get a message on your phone. So will smart earrings be next? Maybe that'll be an upgrade to the iPod Shuffle. Now what about the next generation of cable? For those of you that want to cut the cord from your cable subscription, listen up. Sony's working on launching a fully online TV service. And when it does, it'll carry 22 Viacom networks, including Comedy Central, MTV, and Nickelodeon. The deal with Viacom is a milestone in the move to a world where you could just watch popular cable channels over the internet. Intel's also trying to cook up a similar internet TV offering. Sony gave no word on when this would actually launch. As for the world of video on demand, Amazon Prime subscribers can now stream the Amazon Instant Video service from an Android phone. Before, there were only mobile apps for Kindle tablets, the Fire Phone, and Apple's iOS. You won't find the Prime app on the Google Play Store. Android owners need to first download the Amazon app to get to the Amazon Prime app. Google users will notice another new feature. The Google Voice phone service will now sync up with the Google Plus Hangouts Messenger chat service. If you use Google Voice, you'll find voicemail transcripts and texts included with Hangouts messages. iOS support is coming soon. That's your tech news update. You can always find more at CNET.com and stay updated by subscribing to the podcast. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.